How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video here. We're going to be putting the rubber roof on the brand new 6x10 box trailer. As you remember when we was putting the vent fan on the top, the fantastic fan on the top, I uh, seen that the rubber that they had, the sealant that they had put up there was not sticking very good. So it kind of scared me. I don't want leaks. We built a camper out of it. We sure don't want leaks. I'm going to show you guys up on the roof a little bit, uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to get all the old rubber sealant tear it tore off, and then we got the tape. Uh, it's a tape. You guys told me about some tape, a seal, seal tape to put on there. We got some of that, and we're going to get it put on. All right, I was up here, and I figured, you know, let's see how hard it is to get off. Now, this is what they put on it, and right there is my seal. There's... Right there is, it's stuck real good to this aluminum here, but to this up here, look at that. It just peels right off. That's with just a bare hand. That's without a putty knife or nothing. Uh, but it did stick to the aluminum real well. Now, to this piece here, it stuck good. Whatever they used on this side, see, it's going to come off, but it's going to take some work. Uh, but on that metal right here, it's like it had a maybe an oil on it or something that they didn't wipe off and it's just coming right off so we got a lot of work here I'll get you guys back in here when I get a bunch of this tore off okay as you can see we're getting it off the only place it really stuck good is there and I'm gonna need to get a razor blade knife to get it off that aluminum but I'm almost back over there to where I started so ah we're getting it it's taking a little time I'm gonna see if I can get that thing out of there tonight too so We'll get it. We'll get it the best we All can. Right. You guys know that brand new fantastic fan we just put in? Well, I got to take it out. So, I'm going to probably throw it on Craigslist. See if I can get 100 bucks out of it anyhow. I've got probably almost 200 in it. Maybe a little more than 200. So, I'm going to get this taken out next. We got most of the rubber around the, that sealant around the edges and around the middle done. So, this guy's next. Well, I got the uh, fantastic fan out now. Now is getting all this stuff off, and it is a pain. That's that good. That's that lap seal. Uh, that is some good stuff. It's like it, like it's dry, but it's not dry. It stays soft, but yeah, it just stays real soft, like. But it's going to be a challenge to get all that off, but we're going to get her. That's what we're doing, so we're gonna do it. Okay, I'm done for the night. I got all the heavy uh, uh, sealer off, so I'm gonna take, tomorrow I'm gonna bring a wire brush on a drill and see if we can get the rest of this off. And then uh, we're gonna use a little bit of sandpaper on the whole roof. And then we're gonna take some alcohol and clean it up with that. And then we're gonna start putting our tape on and then we can start putting our rubber roof on. So it don't look too bad. I'm not crazy about this roof. It looks like there's dents in it and everything. It looks like a big dent here, but you know the dent was there because they got caulk down in here, you know, to seal it up. But anyhow, we're gonna do our best, get her done. All right, now, I've just been using a wire brush and it's been taking the rest of this off really good. So I'm just working my way all the way around the edge of this guy so we can get all this old rubber off of here. And it'll give it a little bit more texture to it to hopefully stick better. All right, I got me a nice little razor blade knife. And I'm just going over hitting anything that I didn't get off and scraping it off. And then I got some 220 sandpaper and I'm just kind of scuffing the whole top of the camper. Just scuffing it up. I'm not trying to sand it down. I just want to give it a little bit of a rough texture so my uh, my uh, oh, rubber roofing will stick to it. I don't know if that's the way you do it, but that's the way I'm, I'm doing it. So you don't have to do it this way. Do it any way you want.
All right, we got the whole roof sanded down. Everything's off of it now. All I did was put some rubbing alcohol on this thing, and I'm gonna do the seams first. We're gonna do all our seams first. This rubbing alcohol, if there was any sweat or anything on my hands, it should uh, take that off. Any little stuff that's on there, it should take it off too. Hopefully everything will stick really good. That's the goal anyhow. We want to get it to stick. So we're going to get our tape out. We're going to start right here in the back and work our way to the front. Okay, this is the RV seam tape. Now, this is an extra piece that I had to get. Uh, my son used some of my tape and he bought me this 10 foot roll. I had a 50 foot, so I've probably got 40 foot left. Now this has a little membrane on the back. You have to get it peeled off. This is on the bottom side. So you want to get that membrane pulled off. Now this stuff sticks really good, so when you get it down, you want to make sure right where you want it because if it ain't you're probably not going to get it back up okay now this I'm gonna put the rubber roofing over top of this I'm going to show you this little tool I made to actually help me with this process okay this is the little tool I made to help me with the process this is just a wheel off of a cart and I made a little bracket to hold it in so I can roll it down this is going to help me get it nice and tight I'm just going to run it back and forth on here so I know this stuff is going to be stuck good and tight and that's the goal get it down there good and tight Now, I'm going to work on pulling this the rest of the way across. What I'm going to do is just hold my little plastic, pull it back a little bit, line it up where I want it, put it down. And then I'll take my little roller, get right in that little seam there, roll that all the way across. You can put the edge of that right in the seam. Works pretty good. Round your bolts everything and then just do this side the same way and just keep working our way across that's all there is to it I'm going to do this with every seam on this roof. This should be good and tight. Okay, we got all of our tape on. Looks pretty good. Now it said something about closing the holes up around there from the existing fan, so I just put a layer of tape around the fan where the hole is, and we're gonna cover that up with the rubber roofing. So hopefully it'll have a really good seal on it. So don't look too bad.
looks all right all right we're starting to put this this is not actually a rubber roof it's more of an elastic roof like a it's an elastic roof i thought it was rubber but it's not so we're just getting a good coat on here it will stretch and move with the camper so and we're just doing the first coat we're going to do uh, kind of light we're just going to do it kind of light get a coat on it and then we'll the next couple i'll probably put four or five coats on it then we'll put them heavier as we go all right we got our first coat on there we're getting ready to put another coat it's been all night we let it dry all night so get another coat on here just keep going until we got a nice thick layer on it all right you guys know that uh my little voltage thing went out i actually tried to get a hold of the company where i got it from and they said it was, i couldn't return it so i had ordered it or i ordered a new one i'm going to go ahead and put it in there but we're just going to be taking this guy out and replacing him the little voltage regulator or voltage meter there okay all you got to do is take the four screws out pull your little thing out and you'll see that each one of these have threads on the back of them see if i can get you in here a little closer you got the wires off just go ahead and unscrew this little nut on the top and pull your meter out and then we'll get our new one put our new one in here same little thing a little different shape but hopefully it's a better one and then screw your nut right back on there snug it up put your wires back on hopefully she works there she is like brand new like downtown works great now all i gotta do is get it lined back up in here and we'll put all of our screws back in and this little project will be done i have no clue why the other one quit working but it wasn't long i don't think it was in there maybe more than two weeks and it like burned out or something so hopefully this one will last a little longer in a couple weeks i think i might have paid about i don't know 10 12 dollars for that one there so hopefully it will last okay we're working on our third coat now this is the third coat on here and i'm going to keep putting coats on there as many as i can or either till i run out of material or i feel that i have a heavy enough coat on so I'm just going to keep putting her on. It's starting to look better. Each coat we put on looks better and better. This stuff is thicker than paint, but it's thinner than drywall compound. All right, we got four coats on there, and we got the air conditioner setting on there. It's actually bolted down right now. Uh, we scuffed it up a little bit, so I'm going to put another coat real quick around the outside of the air conditioner, all the way around the edges, and that'll be five coats on it. So far, it looks pretty good, but it's not quite dry, so I think it'll be all right. All right everyone this is the uh, tape that I used on the top of the uh, camper the box trailer camper this is the tape it runs around a dollar a foot I think it was now I would show you the uh, elastic coating that I put on the roof but I'm gonna wait until I see if it holds up because I know absolutely nothing about it and to be honest with you, I kind of don't trust it. So I might have made a mistake on that uh, stuff that I put on the roof. But I know that I didn't make a mistake on this tape. Uh, this is very, very good tape. 
if you want to use it that's fine uh, it's just I'm not sure on that elastic that I put on there uh, like I said I may have made a mistake there I'm not sure but we'll see in time so uh, I don't want nobody making that mistake if I'm gonna make one I'm not gonna hand it down to you guys so I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video don't forget to subscribe leave me thumbs up thumbs down or comment if you'd like if you'd like them alerts click the little bell down below Thanks for watching.